Unit 14. Weekends. Lesson 1. How was your weekend? 2. Listen and understand. 1. So what was your weekend like, Li Wei? It was pretty awful, actually. How come? My car got stolen on Saturday. I was shopping at the mall, and when I came out, it was gone. Oh, no. Yeah. I had to spend all day Sunday at the police station. Two. Did you have a good weekend, David? Yeah. It was fantastic. I went to a great party at a friend's house on Friday night, and I met this really cute girl. You're always meeting cute girls. Yeah, well, I thought maybe she didn't like me, but she called me twice on Sunday. Twice? Maybe she called the wrong number. Three. How was your weekend, Mark? It was a disaster. What do you mean? First, I hurt my foot playing football on Saturday and had to go to the hospital. Then, when I left the hospital, I left my wallet in the taxi. It wasn't your lucky day, huh? What are you going to do about your wallet? Did you call the police? No, but I canceled all my credit cards and bank cards. 4. Hi, Heejin. How was your weekend? It was really interesting. Why? Well, I was at the mall, and this woman came up to me and gave me her business card. Really? Who was she? She was a fashion photographer, and she needed some models for a magazine shoot. Wow, that's great. You should definitely contact her. That might be a great job. Yes, I'd be excited if I could do some modeling. Five. Did you have a good weekend, Richard? It was nothing special, I guess. Really? You didn't do anything? Well, I wanted to go to the baseball game, but the weather was bad. So I just stayed home and watched a couple of DVDs. Were they good? They were okay, I guess. Three. Listen and understand. One. What kind of weekend did you have, Victoria? I had a really fun one. I went ice skating with some college friends on Saturday afternoon. Oh, I love ice skating. I'd never tried it before, so it was pretty difficult. I kept falling down, but I enjoyed it. That's great. We should go together sometime. What about Sunday? Did you do anything then? We drove up to the mountains and did some skiing. Wow, you had a pretty active weekend, huh? How was the snow? Well, it had just snowed that morning, so it was great. It was the best skiing I'd done in a while. Two. Did you have a good weekend, Patrick? It was terrible, actually. Why was that? I came down with the flu and got really sick. That's too bad. Yeah. I felt really bad on Saturday, so I went to the hospital with my parents. The doctor gave me some medicine and told me to stay in bed for the rest of the weekend. There was nothing worth watching on TV, so I just slept the whole time. So you didn't get a chance to go out at all? No, I didn't. Three. How was your weekend, Henry? Not bad. I went to that new mall over near the college with my parents. Saturday was the opening day. Oh, really? My friend went as well. She said it was good. Yeah. They had lots of sales and some really great prices for things. That's great. In fact, I bought these jeans for only $20. Wow. They look really great on you. And those are nice jeans. Yeah. They usually cost about $80. Four. Did you do anything special over the weekend, Keiko? Yes, I did, actually. I played in a tennis tournament on Saturday. Oh, yeah? I didn't even know you played tennis. 
Yes, I started about three months ago. I've been taking lessons every week. Great. So how did you do in the tournament? I was really happy with the way I played, considering it was my first tournament. Did you win? No, but that doesn't matter. I had fun. 4. Tune in. Part A. My weekend was pretty awful, actually. How come? My weekend was a disaster. What do you mean? My weekend was terrible, actually. Why was that? 4. Tune in. Part B. 1. I had to stay home all weekend. Why was that? Are you okay? 2. I'm sorry I couldn't come over. I had to work all weekend. How come? Did you have a lot of work or something? 3. We had a great weekend. I didn't want it to end. Oh, yeah? What did you do? 4. We had visitors last weekend. My two cousins came and stayed with us. Really? It's always fun to have visitors. 5. I'm in big trouble. I spent so much money this weekend. Why was that? Did you go shopping? 6. You'll never believe what happened. I spent the whole weekend in the hospital. What do you mean? Did you get hurt? Unit 14, Weekends. Lesson 2, What are you doing this weekend? 2, Listen and understand. 1. Hi, Bob. This is Hao Ming. I just read about something that might interest you. There's a Marilyn Monroe movie festival this weekend at the Rec Cinema. I know you like her movies, so I thought you might want to check it out. There is more information about it on their website. Well, hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. 2. Sally, this is Mutsumi. Sorry I missed your call. But anyway, did you know about the big sale at the mall on Sunday? They're having a one-day sale, and everything is 60 to 80% off, so there'll be some great bargains. I know you're looking for some shoes or something, so give me a call if you want to go. Bye. 3. Hey, Tom, it's Jason. Listen, some of the guys from school are thinking about going skiing this weekend, just for two days. Do you want to come? I'm sure it'll be fun. If you can go, could you ask your dad if we could borrow his car? It's so much better than taking the bus. And hey, do you have any sleeping bags or something? Um, okay. Well, I'll try to catch you later then. Bye. Four. Hey, Julie, this is Ji Wei. Get out of bed, you lazy girl. It's 11 o'clock. Look, my cousin has invited us over to his place for a party tonight at 7 o'clock. He's got a great apartment, and there will be a lot of people. Don't bring food or anything. He'll have plenty. I'm going to be playing basketball all day, so just give him a call if you want to come, okay? His number is 449-537-4012. Bye. 5. Hi, Yuji. This is Ben. It's about 8, and I just heard on the radio that it's going to be really hot today. 37 degrees. Let's go to the pool for a swim. I'm leaving in an hour, so give me a call if you want to come. I want to go early because it always gets crowded on Saturdays. Anyway, I'll catch you later. 3. Listen and Understand 1. Got anything planned for the weekend? Nah, not really. I just got back from a week in Taipei. Really? 
Well, do you want to do something together? I'd like to get out for some exercise or something. Oh, yeah? That sounds good. Maybe we could play tennis or go swimming. What do you think? Oh, but my tennis racket is broken. I need to get a new one. Oh, that's fine, then. It's probably going to be too hot for tennis anyway. Two. I should really go shopping on Saturday. Oh, what do you need? I need some new shoes, and I want to find a good jacket or something. Hmm, that reminds me. I need to get some clothes, too. Oh, wait. What's the matter? Isn't there a school fair on Saturday? We volunteered to help, remember? Oh, I totally forgot about that. This always happens when I forget to write things down. Maybe we can go shopping some other time. Sure. Three. What do you want to do this weekend? Do you want to go out or anything? Don't you think we should go to the library and study for the final exam? No way. Let's go skateboarding at the park. I need a break. Yes, so do I. But our exam is on Monday. On Monday? I thought it was on Friday. No, the schedule says it's on Monday. Oh, great. What time do you want to meet at the library then? Four. The Rockets game is on TV this Saturday, and I'm not going out or anything. Do you want to come over to my place and watch it? Thanks, but I've got a better idea. Why don't we just go to the stadium and watch it live? Oh, I never thought about that. The tickets aren't that expensive, you know. Yeah, I guess that's true. And it'd be much more exciting watching the game at the stadium than on TV, don't you think? I think you're right. Okay, let's do it. Four. Tune in. Part A. We use something with affirmative statements. I'd like to get out for some exercise or something. We use anything with negative statements. I'm not going out or anything. We use something or anything with questions. Do you want to go out or something? Do you want to go out or anything? Four. Tune in. Part B. One. Let's see a movie or something on Friday. Two. This weekend, I'd really like to go for a picnic or something. Three. Do you want to go for a drive or something on Sunday? Do you want to go for a drive or anything on Sunday? Four. I have to study this weekend. I can't go out or anything. Five. I can't go to the party on Saturday. I don't have a ride or anything. Six. Do you feel like going out for a hamburger or something? Do you feel like going out for a hamburger or anything?